Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Monday night call. We're just going to get a few minutes here, or a couple minutes here to get people on, and I'm going to find Dr. Mark here. There he is. Hey, buddy. Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm good. Good, good, good. People are logging on here so fast. I'm just trying to catch up to your name here. <laughs> How are things out in Denver, Colorado tonight? It looks like I can share my screen, maybe. Yeah, you, I don't know whether I have to make a co-host. I think you, you, you do. Host disabled screen sharing, so you'll have to find Okay, me. hang on one second. I'll find you here. And uh, you getting any snow out in Colorado? Or are you? Yeah, we have about four inches today, but it's it's that pixie dust stuff that just real light and fluffy yeah i actually went out and did got some exercise today and shoveled my driveway which i haven't done in years with the snowblower but the snow was so light and you know, we got about three or four inches here in Brantford, ontario and uh it felt good to, to shovel something that wasn't heavy you know what i mean so yeah. it was uh it was good so let me just see here mark i'm Trying to find you here in the list of oh, at the bottom. I, I've been on for like about a few minutes. Okay, let me see here. I did see you in the list here. I know you're here. You made it back safe and sound from LA. Yeah. Good. How was your flight? Everything good? Oh yeah. yeah good no stuff. worries there. Good stuff. I'm going to go back here in a couple days. So. Yeah, you got to head back to Cal Jam, eh? Coming up. Exciting stuff. Exciting stuff for sure. Uh, where are you here, Dr. Mark? I don't know when you show You showed up on, the, on my list as Dr. Mark, I believe. A red circle that says There it. you are. I got you. I found you. There you go. I'm going to actually make you the host. Just make me co-host. That way we both have control. Doesn't, you know what? It's funny. It doesn't show co-host in my list, though. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it only says make host, allow record, rename, put on hold, remove, blah, blah, blah. So it's easy because I can claim back the host if I need to, but I really don't think I'll need to for this call. Well, wait uh, till you finish your intro, then send it over to me. Okay. okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we got people, we're still going to have people uh, log on. We're right at the uh, 8.30 mark right now. And I'd like to welcome everybody to our Monday night team training call. I appreciate everybody taking the time out. And here in Canada, we are family day today. So um, I don't know whether you guys have that in the States or not, Dr. Mark, but... Um, Every day is family day. <laughs> I figured you were going to say something like that. <laughs> knowing you um, but we have uh, in Canada we actually have a stat holiday called family day and it's today and it's Monday so um, I just uh, wanted to thank everybody for being on the call and uh, and I'd like to thank you Dr. Mark for being on the call tonight too and and addressing the field it's always nice when we can have you know yourself uh, as VP of clinical strategies with uh, with Vox Life and and to sort of update the field a little bit on you know, some of the, the um, progress that the, that the um, medical side is doing and also um, to help the field sort of um, present the product in the best possible way uh, and understand why we have a 30-day uh, money-back guarantee and maybe sort of the best way to leverage that guarantee when you're setting up uh, a new associate uh, for success. And I'll tell the field out there that's watching right now, we um, we have shut off the chat, so I'm, uh, I'm going to tell you guys if you have any questions or whatever. We're going to get through this training tonight. Uh, we're going to get through some thoughts tonight. And then if there's any questions or whatever, you can post them uh, in the team page or you can uh, you know, private message me or Paul Austin or, or one of the leaders, and we'll do our best to uh, get the answers for you. So again, I'd like to welcome Dr. Mark. Thank you for being on the call. And you are the host now, sir. So take it away. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. So um, always great to 
be on the calls with our Vox Life family and super excited to be here tonight. Um, we've had such an amazing year this last year. Um, every single month, it seems like more and more practitioners are coming on board. And the practitioners are, are really such the great gatekeepers to the public. I mean, everybody is looking at the practitioners for guidance, for help related to health issues and so forth. And so we've um, done a lot of work to help the practitioners be able to come into Vox Life real smoothly and effectively uh, without having to jump so many hurdles and hit so many blocks. So we know the things that excite a, a, a doctor, a practitioner, a massage therapist, things that are taking care of clients and how we can help take them to that next level. Because no matter what services, no what type of doctor or practitioner we are, we seem to do everything we can for them and then they plateau and we can help maintain a good quality of life with them. But when we find something new and exciting that comes into our arena, that really does impact humanity in such a great way, it's hard to keep our mouth shut. And especially when you've seen brain maps and things that we've seen, um, you can't unsee it. And so these are strictly objective measures that we use uh, that doesn't have anything to do with how is the patient feeling? What are you, what are you liking about this and, and all of that? It's, it's strictly brain maps and we can show, um, can we mute whoever's yeah. making noise? And we can show the neurology of the brain um, exactly what's happening and every single voxel in the brain. And we can do the 3D image of the brain um, with over 12,000 voxels. So I'm going to talk a lot about Vox tonight and how this tech really impacts us and more so than just the balance test. That's a great way for people to experience the product. It's fast and easy and they're wowed always because we're always stronger and we always have, you know, less wobble, <laughs> you know, when it comes to all that. And that's exciting, but that's not what keeps me up at night. Of course, if I fell down all the time, maybe it would. But uh, and if I was, you know, living in pain all the time, maybe it would. But, you know, this is a product that literally every human being should be on and should stay on. And it's hard to really grasp that until you've seen it for yourself. And so I'm going to share my screen here real quick and show you a little bit of an image. Uh, you're gonna have to allow me to share my screen there, Terry. Okay. You should be able to share it as host. It says host has disabled screen sharing. Hmm. Okay, let me just see here. Do, 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 do. That's your screen. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Yep. It stops screen share. Just give me a sec. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why that won't allow me to. Can you make me a co-host? Just go back here and see if I can change that, Mark. They try it now? Yes. Got it? Got it. Sorry about that, folks. Here we go. Back in action. Back in action. All right. So what we're able to see is uh, the brain in three dimensions. So when we record 19 spots around the brain and we're recording thousands and thousands of neural synapses every hundredth of a second, and then we can actually build this 3D image. So we're seeing three cross sections. The one on the top left, it's slicing you from top to bottom. The one on the top right goes from ear to ear, and the one on the bottom is face to the back. So, uh, and then the bottom right is all of them in one picture. So let me just kind of show you uh, what that looks like. And so we can peel away, we can look at different areas. Everything on this map should be green. The red areas were traumas. This person had two different head traumas, two months apart from each other. And so those are uh, overstimulated, too much information coming in. And then once we put the socks on, it only took like seven seconds for that area to calm down and for them to not feel so scattered. Then we can look underneath the gray matter at the white matter. and We can pull up 200 different networks in the brain. This here is the pain network. And all of these purple dots are different parts of the white matter 
that form uh, a bridge of communication between each other. They need to share information with each other and communicate with every dot in the network. And so when you're seeing red and yellow, like on the left, this is somebody that has hyperactivity in that area of the brain. And so in this case, they're in a lot of pain. And uh, so those, bomb, those nerves, yellow and red, and orange and red are being bombarded. It just gets it very, very confusing for them to be able to process the information and hence they're experiencing pain. Now, when we put the tech on, it's basically doing a control alt delete to the brainstem and it reboots that system. And in this case, it's gonna use the extra neurology for the ones that are the worst offline. And so in this person's case, they were in a lot of pain. And so their pain went away almost instantly, but besides just them telling me that the socks take their pain away, we can clearly see it objectively without any input from the patient that left, always in pain, right, homeostasis. They're able to control and manage it. And so um, that's like a huge breakthrough. For us to be able to see neurology at this level of communication, now if all the lines were dark blue, then they would be lagging too, too little. So um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the share. So what we've seen even more so than that is the ability for us to see the impact that Vox is making on these people's brains. And we've done to date in the last year and a half over 3,000 brain maps with and without the tech. And we're having uh, a couple different studies that are actually be published here shortly that will just completely shock the neurology world. Uh, we also have several other studies going on around the countries, uh, Canada and the US, that hopefully by the end of this year will also be a big breakthrough and have the publish publications. Um, and so what's very interesting is we can see on average about 34 to 36% change in their neurology. Now that's significant in seven seconds. In parts of the brain map that are changing aren't supposed to change without growing new tissue there. And so the fact that we're having such significant change in very sacred areas of our brain maps, um, it's getting everybody's attention. Okay, and of course we have three million happy customers that have their attention too because once you've experienced the socks and a better quality of life, you don't want to take them off. It's been almost two years since I have um, not had the socks on during the day. And so I've always wear them every single day, most nights, but not always because I sleep really well. Now we have done half of those brain maps that we've done over the year where eyes close maps. And so this is indicative of what would the person's night be like if they wore the tech? And again, 100% of the people show significant changes in their neurology while they're sleeping if they're wearing this tech. So it's not a question of if they'll sleep better. We know they will. It's just a matter of if they can keep the tech on. And if you don't like wearing socks at night, just put the patch, you know, and that seems to be the solution for that. But here's what's even more interesting. When we do the brain maps, we see the brain stem light up and we see the core of the brain, which is the slow frequencies, delta theta. This is where all the neural networks lie. And this is the, basically the neural net that holds all communication in the brain. And then everything else is built on that dominant frequency. And it's telling me what your true potential is. This is the part that we first see go kaput when people have neurological disorders like dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, MS, Lou Gehrig's, you name it. All of these things, it's always that one part of the brain that we see slow down significantly, and we call that strike one. And then there's two other parts of the brain, our strike two and strike three, meaning we can't have neuroplasticity happen in here and grow any more tissue to turn this person's condition around. So there's definitely a point of no return. But the beautiful thing is 100% of the people in the study showed a positive increase in turning to homeostasis, that initial place that always goes kaputs. And so that is absolutely the best news about this product. And so that's the same part of the brain and the brain stem and just above the brain stem that controls your balance and stability. And that's why everybody has better balance and stability when they're doing the tests. But we take the socks off and guess what? Your brain goes right back to where it was before. Seven seconds, you have the benefit. You take them off seven seconds, you're right back to without. But interesting thing 
is over the course of this last year, several of these doctors that I've met and shared the stage with speaking at these big conferences around the country, I was able to get, become friends with them and brain map them. And then I'd see them every few months and I'd map them again. And here they've worn the tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because they knew that I would see them in anywhere between 30 and 90 days. <laughs> and we would reevaluate them without their tech on and then again with. And so here's what happens. When you put this tech on, it's not like you're getting anything from the outside in. So don't think that, you know, it's magic something in the socks that you're getting from your environment that all of a sudden provides you with all this more energy, okay? It's not like that. You already have all the energy inside of you. You already have all the neurology inside of you. This is just like an app <laughs> that comes in and reboots your system for you. And so any networks that were maybe not communicating really well and not sharing information very well and possibly offline altogether from a trauma, well, these networks all of a sudden, when you do a control alt delete on your computer, it says, hey, this system's not responding. So what do you do? You close it, open it up again. There you go, it's back online, everything's working. So think of this tech like constantly doing a control alt delete to keep your critical systems that are the most offline back online. And so brainstem balance stability, 100% of the people. Now outside of that, it's really interesting to see that whatever part of your brain is the absolute worst, meaning most dysregulated, meaning most out of control, meaning most bombarding with too many signals, or it just takes forever to get the information there because it's lagging, those are the systems that you use that extra neurology first. Now, when I say extra neurology, I told you, you're not getting anything from outside in. But when we can clear the interference and take the static out of the brainstem, that information flows through there so much more efficiently. And so some people have a wow experience, um, like an instant reaction, like, <gasps> My stress is gone. These are amazing. What did you just do to me? Or get up and walk without their cane and turn around bawling and be like, how is this even possible? I mean, we've all seen so many miracles and it's so exciting. And that's what, that's how we know this is something that humanity needs that's absolutely helping make the most positive impact we've ever seen in healthcare in the last hundred years. And I'm talking about wellness care, chronic care, not the acute stuff. If you cut yourself and you, know, you break your ankle, don't be thinking, I just need to put the socks on and everything's going to fix itself perfectly. You get to the hospital and let them take <laughs> care of you, okay? Emergency and medical care is phenomenal in North America, better than anywhere else in the world. But chronic, acute chronic care, I mean, we're, we're missing the boat, okay? And so our systems are offline. Nobody's looking at the whole you. And so they wait till one is critically offline, and now all of a sudden my blood sugar gets out of control because my pancreas isn't working anymore. It's fed up. Or my liver shuts down. Or my adrenals shut down. You name it. It doesn't matter. You know, your uh, dis-ease is the end result of many bad choices over a long period of time of diet, lifestyle, and all of these things that all build up. So people just expect miracles. I think I had neuropathy in my feet for nine years. I put the socks on and gosh, in 20 minutes, my pain's not going away. It's probably not working. Well, let me tell you, it took you a long time to build these conditions. It takes longer to build them back. And then once you get your health back, it's easy to maintain that, okay? Mm -hmm. And so when you see something that impacts your neurology this much, this fast, why on earth would you ever take them off? especially if you have any condition at all that you're fighting for. So we did a thousand person study with diabetes neuropathy. So they had to have a pain level four or higher, which means they're always in pain and it interferes with their daily life. Well, 76%, I believe, went below a pain level two, which means it occasionally hurts and it doesn't interfere with my life anymore within 20 minutes. And then within three days, 90% of them reached it. But it took... 30 days before they could take the socks off and the pain didn't come right back. Okay, so when you have an extra 30% neurology, right now you have no extra. Okay, I'll just tell you that. Everybody has no extra neurology banked up. You are exerting everything you have to keep everything you have as regulated as possible and you've plateaued. Now all of a sudden you got 30% more. 
if you went down into your basement and found a trap door and there was $50,000 there, and all of a sudden you can do some home improvements, every one of you on this call would do something different with your home. So every one of you also has a different need for your body that the neurology is just screaming for a little extra help. All right, you put the socks on, you got a whole worker, a crew, you got funding, you got it all going to town helping you fix that extra thing. So if you wear the socks long enough, like at least a month, the changes we initially saw in that brain map can hold once you take the socks off. Now, if you learn nothing else from this conversation and from this meeting, know that the longer you wear them, the more change you're going to have that's going to become stable change. Now, that doesn't mean you can take them off and have a terrible lifestyle again. You think you're going to hold it all. These are all things that enhance our lifestyle. And this is a product that you'll never outgrow because it's fixing the communication in the brainstem. And the brainstem is that one area of your body that never habitualizes, which means it never just, you know, will ignore something. You put your clothes on. The minute you put your clothes on, you're feeling it touch your skin. Within a few seconds, all those sensations stop and your brain says, okay, I know that's just my clothes. Don't keep sending me the information that something's touching me there. And you habitualize to it. It's no longer necessary information. Well, the brainstem, its sole job is to go through those hundreds of networks and say, hey, is the heart beating? Awesome. I'll be right back and check on you again. How about the lungs? How about the blood? How about the, the anxiety? Is this network running okay? Okay, let's reboot that. Okay, good. It's running better. Okay, let's go to the next network. It's just always super hyper vigilant. It's the very first part of your being that was developed and everything grew from it. And so when we can help that stay optimized, we're always keeping you optimized. So it's always going to help you achieve a little bit better quality of life as you experience your life through your nervous system. Number one, most important system in the body. Okay. Now, some people, especially the ones that have extreme health issues, it might be too much too soon to experience all these wonderful wellness concepts as they put the socks on. For instance, if you have neuropathy where your feet are so numb you can't even feel the floor, and you put the socks on and in 20 minutes, your feet start tingling and burning and hurting, okay, that's not a bad thing. Okay, that is the normal process of a dead nerve coming back to life. And the fact that you're feeling something, that's exciting. Keep it on and it's gonna get better. Now you can take them off so the pain stops and wean yourself on. It might take you two or three days before you can wear them all day. And that's totally okay. You're experiencing more through your nervous system. 99% of the time, it's just a great thing and everybody just loves them and never takes them off. But there are a few people that can't handle so much new input healing all of these things at once without feeling overwhelmed. And so there's, it's okay to, to wear them a few hours at a time and gradually wean yourself on to more. It's the cool thing because it's not like a medication that you're trying to see if it works, where if you took it and you didn't like the effect of it, you have to wait till it wears off. There's no just taking it off. <laughs> and so with this, you could just take it off. And, you know, especially within the first month, it's seven seconds, all the effect is gone. Okay, so there's no reason to be alarmed by that, but also knowing what it's going to do for you, if you really are concerned about your $30 to $50 investment and you're worried about being able to get your refund in, within a 30-day period, well, by all means, don't take the socks off for 30 days. Take them off and wash them, but just wear them as much as possible so you actually see the full effect. Because remember, your conscious thoughts are processing about 2,000 pieces of data a second, and that's what you're aware of when you put the socks on and off. But the subconscious and the unconscious is processing 400 million pieces a second, and it's using that 30 to 4% extra neurology to heal you and to replace your tissues cleaner and better than the last version. So taking it off or wearing it for a few hours here and there and thinking these don't work, um, you're just not as informed as you should have been because these work 100% of the time on 100% of the people in a very positive way. And so get the most out of them. And once you've had that experience, say for a month, 
go ahead. If you're still skeptical, take it off and see what your life is like in four days. <laughs> see how much less control you have of your arousal state and how long your fuse is and how well you're sleeping and, and how well regulated you stay. Because you know what? We still live in a life style where we're exposed to Wi-Fi and harmful things all the time. We're exposed to toxins in our environment, loud noise, uh, chemicals, you name it. Emotional stress, being bombarded from coworkers, from spouses, from bosses. Uh, all of these things are affecting your neurology and you're doing the best you can to survive. Well, why wouldn't you wanna have that extra 30% if you could, right? And it's going to help me get through life so much easier, so much simpler, without such being derailed when, you know, crisis happens. And crisis does happen. But the bottom line, this helps your body's immunity. It helps your, your nervous system regulate things that control literally everything, from blood flow to digestion to immunity to mental clarity and all of that i think that's one of the most common things i've seen with people that either suffer from arousal state ends of the spectrum meaning like anxiety or depression or add and these things when these people put the tech on it doesn't take but a few seconds for them to think wow what is this i totally feel like you can see their whole continents change and so Ironically, you know, it still takes somebody seeing their brain map on a lot of cases before, you know, some light bulb goes off and they click and says, you know what, why would I ever want to take these socks off my feet? It just did that to my brain. That's so amazing. When you see it live and they take their feet off the insoles and it all goes red and they put their feet back on the insoles and it all turns green. It's like, oh my gosh, green is homeostasis, optimal neurology with reserve. And that happens 100% of the time. So we're just so excited in healthcare in general. I've never had a single product that was so impactful, not just for the one person that uses it, but literally for the entire practice and everybody's practice and all walks of life. We're seeing such incredible changes for something that's so simple, affordable, and portable. And yet being a chiropractor, um, a lot of times medical doctors and surgeons and so forth, you know, there was a lot of egos in how people, you know, wouldn't refer people back and forth. And it wasn't like we were brothers and comrades because we were both doctors. There was just like this big chiasm between, you know, alternative medicine and then just natural or, or medicine, okay, and surgeries and all of that. So there's just been, I don't know, there's been a gap. And in these last couple of years, I've seen nothing but bright eyes, excitement, whether you're a surgeon or whether you're a podiatrist, a dentist, a chiropractor, an MD, a massage therapist, you know, reflexologist, whatever. We just see, oh my gosh, this makes me a better practitioner and this makes my patients get better quicker, you know, and inevitably that should be everybody's goal. Get your patients better, faster, and keep them well. And as I mentioned before, it just takes a little more consistency and a little more effort to get you well than it does to maintain wellness. And so think of the socks as not this miracle. I put it on and all my problems just vanished and, and have these high expectations for people to think they're going to be cured the minute they put these on. Just think of the socks as working on wellness, which means it's helping my body replace the tissues better the next time around. It's helping my body return to homeostasis so systems stay online, so programs run effectively, so blood flows adequately, so elimination happens effectively, so all the things work together as a whole. Optimized neurology controls all of it. Okay, and so we have a gift here, and it's something that oh my goodness, for under $50, seriously, and you can wear them like the insoles every day for years, it's not ever about the money. Jade could have made these products $100, $250 for a pair of socks. And you know what? They just still made millions because there's so many people that need this. And they're spending thousands of dollars a month on pain relief drugs and, and treatments that are just masking the symptom. They're never getting to the root cause or never allowing the body to heal. 
We have a gift here in a product and he's kept it affordable so that we can literally help a billion people and create a wonderful life for ourselves financially in abundance for as a direct reflection to how many people are we helping? Uh -huh. I mean, really, each and every one of you, look at your organizations and look at some of the income you may have made in Vox these last few months or this last year and know that's a direct reflection because you've changed that many people's lives. I mean, how awesome is it to be equally yoked with such a win-win situation, changing healthcare, something that humanity needs, something the world needs, and it's something that's going to be the first step to get people's consciousness out of false hopes for healthcare and get things back into, I need to take care of myself. And this is something that helps me take care of myself better. It helps me make better decisions on what I'm eating. It helps me get a better quality of sleep. 75% of all your new cells that are laid down in one single day happen while you're asleep in those three to four hours of REM and deep REM sleep. And if you're not getting a good quality sleep, I'm sorry, your health is declining. And you're going to slowly decline until you get to your last breath. That is no way to live life. We want to live ourselves wide open to the very last day and then go home. Not this lose my health and just say, I'm older. I'm, not, I'm supposed to be stiff. I'm supposed to hurt. My joints are supposed to ache. I'm in my 70s. I'm in my 80s. I'm not supposed to be able to walk 100 yards. That's nonsense, okay? There are plenty of 80 and 90-year-olds that still go snow skiing. They still ride their bikes every day. They still play tennis every day and pickleball and all these fun things. It's like you have your life to live. Take care of it and do all the right things you can. And there's not one thing you can do. It's everything you do. Keep learning. Keep educating yourself on how you can tap into lifestyle changes and make simple choices and do one thing at a time until it becomes a habit. Don't try to think you, you could change everything in one day and make it happen. But I will tell you one thing. If you don't have the socks on, your future health is on a slow decline. You're aging, okay? These are going to help you anti-age. It's going to help you get a better quality of life right now and certainly in the next remodeling of all your tissues. Remember, your brain and spinal cord, those are the same cells you were born with and you die with. Your teeth, same ones. The lens in your eyes, no choice. Those are the ones that you were born with. Those cells don't replace. Every other cell in your body has a lifespan and a turnover rate. Your eyeballs take 48 hours. You have two brand new eyeballs. Every cell's been replaced. Your gums take two weeks. Your throat takes two months. The lining in your lungs that absorb all the oxygen, that only takes eight days. And so every system is constantly turning over new tissues. If we're optimized neurology, we're able to do a better version of those cells next time. And it's not like your body just goes copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. It makes three billion copies of your DNA. It rummages through them to find the cleanest one and says, this is the one that's making it into the cell today. <laughs> and you have the ability to make a cleaner, better, healthier, more abundant cell every single day by all the things you're choosing with your lifestyle. Put the socks on, you get to skip first grade and go right to second grade. Okay, and after a month or so, you're skipping third grade and going to fourth grade. You are accelerating neurologically in an extraordinary rate, and you're trickle charging it all the way for the rest of your life. You're, you're maintaining optimization. So, you know, it's hard to say much more than that. Okay, you can look at all the studies, you can look at the evidence. Healthy skepticism is fine. Okay, I get that. There's so many products and so many things we're bombarded with all the time. So, we have to be a skeptic. But skepticism in the face of evidence that is clinically proven, it's just stubbornness, okay? And so let's help the people that really have been praying every day for help and that looking for answers and that unfortunately spend thousands and thousands of dollars trying to get cured and the cure is not out there, guys. It's inside of you. It's mm -hmm. that little helper inside of you that's rebuilding and remodeling you all the time. So start looking within, taking care of yourself within, and do things to always optimize brain function and neuro neurology, and you're going to see amazing changes happen in your life and in your future health. So I'm not going to just keep rambling and rambling. Hey, me. no, I'm Doc, it's, you know it's not rambling. It's, and I know that if we had the chat line open, there would be uh, a number of questions. and. Uh, Thank you so much. I think the field, it was important tonight, and I think it's, um, it was very, very well explained, and thank you so much. 
I think what we're saying here, and I think the field will understand, is that what we're doing with our technology as being delivered through our sock, our, our insole, and our patch, is we're allowing the human being to optimize their neurology um, by wearing this so that it'll help their own body, their own body work on its own wellness to help heal itself. And sometimes, depending on how somebody's wellness uh, has been compromised uh, and how bad the dysregulation is, is sort of uh, makes a difference on why we're seeing different uh, time spans in some cases um, with people's uh, recovery rates. And so there is a degree of coaching that has to go in this with us as representatives, as field associates, when we're talking to people and, and to talk to them about intelligently about how important it is to have their brain uh, set up for success through uh, our technology to put the brain into the best position called homeostasis um, to allow our body to uh, help itself. Is that fair to say? 100%. And, and I think the biggest takeaway for that in just a couple sentences is you never claim that this product heals your, your, your friends, your clients, your people. Yeah. The body heals itself. This product is going to allow the body to heal itself better. And Absolutely. so... It, we're always compliant if we're not making a medical claim. And we're really not. We're optimizing your neurology. That's our claim, and we can prove it. And mm -hmm. so by doing so, your body's own healing mechanisms, your own innate intelligence is, is being reprogrammed back to the original program. Because, you know, we're wired for success, but then we get programmed by all the junk for failure, yeah. <laughs> all the things in our life. And so this is helping us get back to our original programming of, you know, above down inside out okay yeah and it, and it makes it, it makes absolute sense now to hear that when you put the brain in that uh, position and people's um neurology like you talked about you know maybe a burning sensation or something like that well it's too much to take right away when you're waking those nerves up a bit so it's okay i mean i use the analogy of my progressive lenses i mean i wasn't you know using my eyes properly and these when i first got them made me dizzy but i could take them off rest my eyes, and I put them back on again. And it took about three times, maybe four times, before I could wear them full time. Yeah. And uh, it worked 100%. So it's kind of like um, the same thing in certain cases, depending on how uh, somebody's neurology um, is functioning and, and how it, their body has, um, has uh, their wellness has declined and how fast it comes back. And I say, if you, if you took a 30-pound dumbbell and did 100 curls with it and hadn't used that arm before and then woke up the next day and said, oh, my goodness, my arm's killing me, why? Well, you didn't necessarily use that muscle the way uh, you used it at this particular point. So there could another, be. Another really good analogy is think of two structures. Like we got a football stadium, or let's say a hockey stadium, okay? And then we got a parking lot. And we have people that need to go from the parking lot into the stadium. Now, is there just one door or are there a hundred doors? I mean, how fast and how easy do we want Absolutely. to get that flow of traffic into the stadium and then afterwards get them back out and out of the parking lot effectively? Think of box, like when you put the socks on, you just opened up all the doors in the stadium to make it super easy so it doesn't get too bottlenecked versus when you take the socks back off, because of your head trauma, the slip on the ice, and then the medications they had for anesthesia or chemo or whatever, you have all these different things that have shut doors in the stadium, okay? okay. And so now you're still optimized. I mean, not optimized, you're still operating. Mm -hmm. You still have half the doors open, so it just takes longer to get the crowd out, and it takes longer to get the crowd in, and there's more commotion. And so when you're putting the tech on, it's opening up all the channels, allowing traffic really easy and effectively in and out. So sometimes it just takes a couple analogies to hear it one way or the other to sure. find a light bulb and turn on the, oh, I get that. Yeah. So, so of course, there's what, we wanna, what I want to stress to the field uh, and what I've had success with is that you know, we want to set our new wearers up for success and, and take the time to explain how important putting their brain in the, into the right position to allow the healing to start from within their body. Um, and that there's a little bit of coaching that may be involved with that because we don't want people thinking that these are something that 
you know, is like injecting a drug into your arm or something like that or, or whatever. We know unequivocally in seven seconds, we put the brain into the right position to allow the body to start working on its wellness at the optimum. Yeah. And so that takes yeah. some time depending on how uh, dysregulated the brain has been, how compromised the wellness has been. And those are all at different levels. And so sure. I just wanted the field to know that we have to do some coaching. It is our obligation to our wearers out there to, um, to, to teach them and have them understand there's a reason why we have a 30-day money-back guarantee and not a two-day or a three-day or a four-day money-back guarantee because we know that um, people heal uh, depending on how bad they've been compromised in certain areas. So um, I think it's been absolutely spectacular. It's a great call. And I think um, um, there will be some call that some, some questions that come in doc, but we'll, uh, we'll discuss those and get the best uh, answers we can for the field. And I want to thank you um, from the bottom of my heart and from the rest of the field on behalf of the field for taking the time to come on the call. I know you guys are really busy traveling around and you got Cal jam next week and we're going to, you guys are going to absolutely make a, a splash there next week in, in uh, L.A., and I'm excited for you. And so on behalf of the field. Yeah. We're in Calgary the week after that as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Hey, Cal- we're going to come up there to, to the. Oh, the, yeah, that's the big the event in Calgary. Event. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The big event in Calgary. That's fantastic. And the other thing I'd like to maybe remind if there's uh, practitioners on the call tonight, as Jay requested on the corporate call about the practitioners sending a video in of your testimonial or a testimonial. So if there's practitioners on the call or you people in the field have practitioners on your team, a gentle, friendly reminder to let them know that they can email their testimonial in to, uh, to um, Jay at Vox Life or, their, or to practitioners, I guess. Through, are they sending to practitioners at VoxLife.com? Practitioners at Vox Life, yeah. yeah and then also, if there's anybody on the call that is a practitioner, um, that never had a practitioner account set up and have a regular account, it's not going to cost you anything to call them and say, I want to convert to a practitioner account. And then you're going to have access to all of our tools and training materials and everything, free downloads and all of our practitioner calls and all of that as well. So, you know, we love to, to make sure that all of you that are in, because there's been a lot of people that came in before we had a practitioner program. And, yeah. they, and they're not aware yet that, that we have some great, um, you know, opportunities to, to help make it really easy to implement things into your practice and, and all the tools that go along with that. So, yeah. And I think that um, it's important for us. Uh, we have so many exciting stories and so many amazing things coming in. It's just absolutely mind blowing the stuff that, that, that we see uh, every weekend and the success express tour. Uh, next weekend in Florida. So if you know anybody in Florida, guests, friends, family, uh, associates, um, get them to this event in Florida. Um, I think there's around 150 tickets sold right now. Um, So we want to pack these events. And then March 23rd, uh, we'll be in Phoenix, Arizona, and then off to your hometown of Denver, Denver, Colorado on (laughs) April 13th. So looking forward to, to those events. And we'll make those announcements as we go. Um, we're working on getting a flyer up here. So on behalf of the field, Dr. Mark, it's always a pleasure. Good to see you on the call, buddy. Um, thanks for all you're doing for Vox Life, for the field. I know that everybody on this call sincerely appreciates all you're doing. Um, and um, we will take this uh, learning tonight and apply it while we're out in the field, changing people's lives on our way to a billion people. So thanks awesome. a million for being on the call. I want to remind everybody also to check the Vox Life YouTube channel these next few days um i made a ton of new videos in december and they're going to be posting them in the next couple days and these are tools that you can use to help share vox with your friends families and other practitioners oh fantastic and if you're not if you don't if you haven't subscribed to the vox life youtube channel please go on and subscribe to that channel and then you'll get notifications when new videos are posted into the vox life channel so awesome folks. I thank everybody for being on. It's family day here in Canada. Go spend time with your family. God bless everybody. And thanks so much for being on the call. We'll talk soon. See you, Dr. Mark. All right. Take see care. you later. Good night, everybody. Good night.